Hey everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the formatting options for metrics when you're setting up a new data view in Customer Journey Analytics. So you can see here we have revenue selected. And so this one's gonna be pretty easy. When we go over to the formatting section, we can choose currency. Right, we have a few different options. You've got decimal time, percent, currency. How do you want it displayed? Well, obviously, revenue we want it displayed as currency, and so we'll have that. When you choose currency, of course, you get to choose down here which currency. So we've got a lot of different options. In this case, we're going to just leave US dollars there, and this is just the currency that it will display in. Then you can also choose whether you want to show those two decimal places or whether you'd rather just kind of have, you know, dollars instead of dollars and cents. The next setting down here is whether to show the upward trend as good or bad. Of course, with revenue, it's going to be good, up is good, and so we'll leave that the way that is. Now, if I jump up here to these app crashes right here, you'll see that, you know, we have the same formatting options here, but instead of, you know, these other ones, time, percent, or currency, we'll leave that one as decimal. And in this case, we want to show an upward trend of app crashes as bad. And so we will have that set as bad. More crashes is not good in this case. Now, the next section down here is behavior. And in many cases, you'll want to count the values because if you have app crashes, you know, if you have three of them or two of them or one or whatever, you want to count those values. If you have revenue, of course, you want to count those values. You want to add up the values of the revenue. However, you have the option to count an instance instead of the values. And this is kind of a hidden gem here because, for example, in revenue, let's say you don't have an orders metric. Well, you can use revenue basically as an orders metric if we just duplicate that. So let's duplicate the revenue metric. Boom. Now, if I scroll to the top, I have another revenue metric. But for this one, I'm going to change it to just count the instance. And so regardless of the amount of dollars, amount of revenue, it just counts it as one because it's an instance of that component or of that metric being set. Which also means, of course, we'd want to change the name of that from, you know, revenue probably to orders. But it allowed us to actually just take that revenue metric and make a new metric out of it, which is in this case orders. And the same thing could be used on any of your different metrics. Now, another little tip is that if you have a dimension that you want to count as a metric, we already talked about this in another video, how you can set a dimension as a metric. But what that gives you in reference to what we've just been talking about, if I click, for example, search keyword, and if I don't have a metric that is, you know, searches, that people did a search, I can just say, you know what, if there's something in this search keyword field, I know that people did a search, right? So if I duplicate that one, and then I scroll up to the top and I grab that and I change this from a dimension to a metric. Now I can just change this name to, you know, searches because it's going to count the number of searches. Now, since this is a string, you actually won't see that behavior section down there because there's no reason for you to count the value that's not a thing, right? The value is a string. And so you're just going to count the instances and that's automatically going to be treated that way. But it allows you to do that same thing that we've been talking about with this, you know, revenue here being actually orders. That's bugging me, right? So I'm going to change that to orders. But in any case, these settings allow you to do some really great things with customer journey analytics. I hope those tips were helpful and you have a great day.